we are spending the next 24 hours just off the coast of Playa del Carmen on the island of Cozumel. Really wanted to come here for a while, so we're really excited. We were also told that it's one of the most dog-friendly destinations in the world to travel to, so we brought Bear with us as well. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> We just arrived at Cozumel uh, from the ferry. The ferry was a little bit of a nightmare. Not very dog friendly on the ferry. Really loud music and they made us buy a muzzle for Bear and put it on him in order to get on the ferry which we didn't really see anywhere on the website. We didn't really hear that. Bear hated the muzzle and it also broke halfway through um, so it was a not very <laughs> durable one but it was pretty quick. It was only 45 minutes. Lloyd's just gone to grab us a Jeep, which we're then going to do a little tour of around the island and hit some beaches. So we planned this entire trip to Cozumel using TripMapper. TripMapper is a flexible cross-platform trip itinerary toolkit designed to make organizing your next getaway fun. It's a really good way to not only plan out your activities, but also keep your budget in check. Individual and group budgeting with TripMapper is an absolute breeze. Start by setting a daily or entire trip budget and then input paid amount including deposits and upcoming amounts. TripMapper lets you know what you owe, what you have left to spend, or if you're over your budget, allowing you to stay in control of your trip spend. And the currency conversion feature makes for even more accurate budgeting. And just in case you're not a seasoned traveler or maybe you're a bit disorganized like I am, TripMapper offers pre-made itineraries spanning the globe, which users can easily customize in their TripMapper account. In fact, you can even access our exact itinerary that we use for this trip in Cozumel. So TripMapper is available on a web app which provides an amazing desktop experience. It's a fantastic way to get the planning phase of the trip underway. It's also available on the mobile app so you can take it with you while you're on your trip and keep up to date with everything you're doing. I'm not usually the planner, Lloyd's usually in charge of that stuff, uh, but Seeing everything laid out with TripMapper makes everything way less overwhelming and a lot more organized. Yeah, for this trip, I was a little busy doing other work stuff and Mandy was in control of doing all the booking and planning for this trip. And I don't think she would have been able to do it without TripMapper. So if you would like to start using TripMapper for your next holiday, click the link in the description and use discount code Lloyd and Mandy to get 15% off an annual trip plus subscription. This is 
is awesome. stressful. We're all in. Um, we're holding up traffic for a little bit but we got the Jeep. It's a little old but it's pretty cool. It's gonna be awesome to cruise around in. So far I'm not really sure why it's called the Dogitopia yet because I haven't seen one other dog. I saw one. <laughs> okay, Lloyd saw one. and stuff around so we'll see if we can find lunch there as well I hope that it's good and bear needs to swim because it's hot today <laughs> So we've just driven pretty much halfway across the island and stopped at the first place we could see that had food and it actually looks really cool. It's this beach bar. Uh, prices aren't too bad. They let us bring Bear in as well and he's just gone for a little bit of a swim with Mandy and I'm having a beer and ordering some tacos. So far, loving it here. Okay, lunch was really good. The staff were really friendly and really nice. We just got back in the Jeep. We're gonna go take Bear for another swim. He didn't want to get in the back seat, so I'm in the back and Mr. Bear's in the front. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find. No, Bear. It's okay. Yeah, He's okay. This is awesome. We've pulled up to this beach. I'll put the name of it down below. I can't remember. We rented an umbrella for about eight or ten US dollars, I believe. And you're allowed to have dogs here, and Bear's just swimming in this awesome, like, little pool with us. Pretty ideal. This is like the best beach we've been able to take him to in Mexico. How good is this? It's pretty good. Very good. There's also a couple of restaurants and bars just there, so. This might be us for a few hours. Yeah, might have to go have a margarita after this. Get it, boy!
We've just come to a restaurant called El Pascador that is just on the beach that we were just swimming at. This is like the perfect dog friendly location ever. Like no, no dogs are on leads or anything and everyone seems pretty relaxed about it. It's awesome. We're having the best day. <laughs> Okay, we've just toured pretty much half of the island. Uh, we're just going to check into our Airbnb and then we're going to head to a dog friendly brewery and have a craft beer, which is pretty exciting. We're going to have a quick shower and then we're going to head there. Oh. <laughs> We only paid 65 bucks for this place on Airbnb and um, it's pet friendly and it's right in the middle of town so it's pretty good. Uh, we're just feeding bear and we're gonna, uh, are we gonna head to this brewery? Yeah, yeah cool. have a shower. Right. These dogs are big fans of bear, an outsider in their neighborhood. He gets it a lot around here. How do you like it here, man? I love it here. It's got that the island feel that I love. Scooters everywhere. It is a little bit mosquito-y though. <laughs> feel weird having bear on a trip with us? It feels like the missing piece. The thing that's been missing this whole time. Even though he's, even though he stresses me out a little bit. <laughs> Okay, we're at this brewery and uh, it's pretty cool in here. They actually brought bear water. They didn't mind us bringing him in here at all. Um, the beer's really good here. They make it all here themselves and we just ordered a pizza for dinner. We're both feeling pretty tired. It's been a big day. Bear's absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Good vibe here. It's like a different feeling to play at El Carmen. It feels more family. I wholesome. Think. Wholesome. Wholesome. <laughs> That's the word we're going with. Not as much of a party. We're just in the middle of the park here, and there's just kids kicking soccer balls and playing with toys. And there's lots of people walking their dogs as well. This would be a nice place to live, I think. Okay, Bear needs a new toy because I decided. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can find a local person selling something we can get for. How much is this? Yeah. Uh, 80? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, Do you like that? 
Yay. Es fuerte. Gracias. You have to carry it home. It's 7 a.m. We're gonna try and catch the sunrise. Back at the same beach that we were at yesterday. It's meant to be the best place on the island to watch the sunrise, so we're gonna see if we can make it there on time. It's actually the first place in Mexico to get sunrise, huh. apart from Isla Harris. sunrise just in time we had to get petrol and there was a huge lineup but it all ended up okay sunrise is beautiful I have to spend a bit of time here this morning before we go get breakfast Price looks good, honey. And it's meant to be pet friendly, so. Feels like everywhere here is pet friendly. I so know, far. it's been so good. Wanna eat some breakfast? Well, you're probably not gonna eat anything, but. Apparently, the shrimp tortas are the best here, so I think that's what we have to try. For breakfast. Shrimp for breakfast. In Mexico. Okay. We're gonna try the shrimp torta because it's apparently really good. And Mandy is gonna try and order it all in Spanish to start practicing her Spanish because we've been taking lessons. She's also a weirdo. She's cold and it's like 26 degrees out. She's wearing a towel as a jumper. You're Canadian, honey. The worst Canadian. We're in the Caribbean. <laughs> and you're cold. I know. It's a problem. No. Camarones torta. Sí. Te iba a la plancha ajo o mantequilla. I didn't prepare for this. <laughs> Camarones. Camarones? Yeah. Uno. Y uh, pollo la plancha. Pollo la plancha. Y uh, algo de coco. Sí. Tenemos zapote. Limonada. Uh, dos lemonada. Gracias. La torta de camarón al ajo sea plancha ajo mantequilla. Uh, plancha. Plancha. That didn't well, go so good. <laughs> I hope I we got the right thing. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Sorry. I felt so confident going in. Hopefully we got two meals there because I'm hungry. If we didn't, you're not eating. <laughs> Ridiculous in a good way. <laughs> it's very, very good. What's the chicken one like? Delicious. Yeah? Really good. What's your rating out of 10? Eight. 
All right, that breakfast was pretty awesome. It was really delicious, and it was only $12 for two drinks and two tortas, uh, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, definitely check that place out. It was really, really good and a local place to, to go, rather than going to one of the chain places that's uh, on the beach. just checked out of our hotel. We're gonna go for a little walk around the more busy touristy side of Cozumel uh, as well as try and get some ferry tickets for the other ferry because they don't make dogs supposedly wear muzzles. Bear really didn't like the muzzle. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can get on that ferry today instead. got us ferry tickets for the 1 p.m. ferry on the Ultramar ferry. There's two ferry services. There's uh, Windjet and Ultramar. We took Windjet over here and they were the ones who made Bear wear the muzzle and they were really strict about it. I had a look on Google and it said that Ultramar doesn't make you do that and they're a bit more relaxed. So we went with them and he, I asked him about bringing my dog and he said um, no problem as long as he has a leash. So hopefully we don't have to muzzle him because that sucks. Yeah, he hates it. All right, we're just about to get the ferry back to Playa del Carmen and hopefully we don't have to muzzle bear. We see how we go. Really hoping we don't have to. I'm just letting Mandy drive the Jeep because I've got to fly the drone and she wanted to have a go at driving. See how this goes. When was the last time you drove? When was the last time? It could be not good. <laughs> and a manual. <laughs> On the opposite side of the road. Alright. Oh, the pedals are so far away. First. Am I in the wrong one? <laughs> All the way to the right and down. Yeah. There you go. I think you're clear. 